Sculpture Center was founded as the Clay Club in 1928 when Dorothea Denslow opened her Brooklyn studio to students and local artists. In 1944, the Clay Club was incorporated as Sculpture Center, and artists rallied to purchase and renovate a carriage house on Manhattan's East 69th Street, where operations were based for the next 53 years. In 2001, Sculpture Center purchased a former trolley repair shop in Long Island City and hired Maya Lin to design the renovation. In 2013, Sculpture Center broke ground on a building expansion designed by Andrew Berman Architect and a year later inaugurated the newly expanded building with an international group exhibition, Puddle, Pothole, Portal. When we moved to Long Island City in 2002, we moved into this fabulous trolley repair shop and it offered a space unlike any other space in New York for art. It's an incredible volume, it's a dramatic space, and artists have found it inspiring. It's sometimes challenging, but it's a way to work in a space that offers an opportunity that's not like what they might have at a gallery or a more mainstream institution. I think the, the benefit to having a place that is as flexible and open and amenable to working with artists allows for a sense of experimentation, allows artists to take risks. The Sculpture Center understands that. They assume that we're going to take risks. They want us to take risks. So I think it's a really good, constructive environment that we don't often get shown in large institutions. They look at artists that maybe have had a career and haven't been so well known except very narrowly. That's what I've appreciated about places like the Sculpture Center, that they, you know, take an interest in doing that. Our new 2,000 square foot building gives us a lot of options in terms of how people navigate the building. We'll be able to show more diverse forms of work because we have different ways of access, different parts of the building, and different types of spaces. I, I always feel when I come and see work here that in the Sculpture Center you very much are in touch with the making of the work. You can feel that it's made and even sometimes see vestiges of that process. And in our architectural work here, I wanted to be able to speak to that, to show the kind of open possibility of the making, which is an ongoing process. I think the Sculpture Center over the years has changed and shown different profiles of artists. But what I think is the most important thing is the expanded definition of the word sculpture itself. So when you go to the Sculpture Center, you may see what some people would consider photography or video or even a performative act. But we all sort of talk about that in the realm of sculpture because sculpture goes beyond the three-dimensional and starts to envelop the fourth dimension, which is basically, you know, the compilation of many senses. Sculpture Center understands that. My ambition for Sculpture Center is to, for it to be a place where artists and audiences come together and discover things and can be challenged and have a conversation about what the world can look like, both um, from a conceptual standpoint but also in real space.